out. It's called the Philly Arts Magazine. It's highlighting other small businesses, different artists here in the city of Philadelphia. Love for you to check it out, see what it's all about, and I think you really enjoy it. Well, my name is Infotain. I'm Sean Mitchell Caldwell. Some people know me as. Um, I've been running a small business called Infotainment for the past decade now. I'm working with different artists. Started off with hip-hop, naturally, but then it became, I started working with um, jazz artists, poets, R&B artists, um, break dancers. Just meeting people every day outside, just like you see in my encounter with the gentleman. Just asking people what they do and finding out that we have a lot of talented people here in the city of Philadelphia. Um, I never wanted to be a teacher. I never wanted to be a doctor, a lawyer. Well, I might want to be a teacher one day. But I never wanted to be anything in particular. I know that it was the arts that was really calling me. And um, that's what my goal was, to really be a part of the arts. And right now, especially with the internet, you know, uh, music being just pretty much so accessible to different people, like easily, with a click of a button, it's almost like people don't feel like they should even pay for music. So I tried to evolve a little bit beyond just music. So I started doing, you know, uh, different interviews with different artists in the city of Philadelphia and, and taking it to another level. Legally, I'm, I've been, you know, in, in incorporating my business for the past 10 years. Uh, but, you know, this is something that it's been just a lifetime journey of just sticking with, with something that's been already embedded within me. And it just was a process of just sticking with it. You know, I, I felt like I was born to do what I, I'm doing today. And how many artists would you say that are involved with this? Numerous. Um, even the people watching. I mean, every, I would feel that there's no set number. I'm open. I don't like people on exclusive contracts. Like, if I met a different artist here in the city, like um, even this gentleman right here, um, this is an artist that I work with, his name's Maine Miz, and he's just a very talented artist here in the city of Philadelphia. So um, there's just no limit. I'm always looking to work with more artists and more small businesses. Can't realize that you don't go to school, you know, to get a good job, but you go to school to create a job, you understand? And I can't even realize, I actually just quit my job at Target overnight because I want to be my own boss. I don't want nobody to tell me what to, you know, what to do and how to do it and whatnot. But I did go, I didn't go for the money, I, I went for to learn more about business. So I do have my own business out. The name of the business is called El Shaddai Service. Right now we just um, at ground level. Um, it's a retail, it's definitely a retail business, you know, uh, trade and merchandise and whatnot. Um, I actually have my, my license right now. Every business in Philadelphia must have one of these because the sidewalk sells, the license. Hmm. You know, this is where it starts at right here, you know. I walk up to people just like I, you might see with other gentlemen, and I introduce them to what I do. You know, I, I have a little you know setup here. You know, I've been a couple newspapers here in the city of Philadelphia. Um, you know, I have my license out here. I have you know city of Philadelphia press credentials. So basically, basically, pretty much, it's not a concrete thing, but I step out on faith every day, and you know, and pretty much I sell out every day. And but the goal is just to grow beyond this because this is a, I'm able to pay my bills but I'm not fully able to grow my business and take it where I want to be so that's the struggle where I'm at right now today right now I've been trying to assist people that's been growing in themselves but now I feel like I have a concrete situation now here in the city where it's pretty much I have a website up www.infotainment.net excuse the plug but you know I have a little website up and it's pretty much to draw more attention up and just to cut offering advertisement on what we're doing and through the advertising that we're able to you know get people to fund you know, the, the projects and where everybody just give more people job opportunities because naturally that's an entrepreneurship. You want to grow a business so you can help other people. And I think that should be the driving source of an entrepreneur. Okay, and we can still get you something, though. Thank you for that. I thank you for even taking the time to do so. And it looks good for the camera, too. I get up and everything in the wild, like, uh, and he takes that. Okay, and we appreciate that. And that's what it is. That's what it is. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the day.